Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to the outpost. I just thought before I started today I got some new items that uh, I stopped and picked up. I thought I would just give you a good report on this compost toilet. Um, you know, so far I'm really liking it because there it is odor free. I think that liquid separator was the key. Um, so if you're a new subscriber, what I did was is I've got a um, compost bucket in there basically which contains the solids and then I've got a liquid separator which has a hose that I ran down in through the woods dug a hole filled it with uh, big rock um, probably about this deep and about this big around run the pipe down in there put a screen on the bottom of it and so all liquid goes down in kind of like a leach field and uh, so far like I said zero smell so I'm really, really liking um, the setup for this uh, compost toilet. But if you're interested in watching the build, I have a series on the compost toilet. You'll be able to see it from start to finish. You can go check that out. Anyway, let's walk up here to the uh, cabin. I've got some new items that I want to show you. Well, hey everyone. As you can see, I'm sporting a new cap. Um, I'm not going to mention any names because I don't know, I don't have permission to mention the name, but it's one of the subscribers that we have to the channel. Uh, you know who you are. I really appreciate this cap and it really fits good. And then I've got another surprise that I'm going to show you. I tell you what, we have, like I've said before, we have some of the best people following this channel. Um, we can't thank you guys enough for the support that we receive on what we're doing up here at the outpost. You know, all of the great comments, all of the um, emails, and the gifts that we get from time to time. You know, it just, uh, I've said many times before, it warms our heart to know that people are enjoying and care that much about not only us, but what we're doing up here at the Outpost. So, I want to take time to thank the person. I don't have permission to use the name, but you know who you are. To thank you for this nice cap because it really fits good. So, I really do appreciate that. Um, I also received from the same person another item, which is this right here. And they sell these in their shop. Um, this is a rechargeable LED magnetic work light. It's a, a Tiger light, and um, the model number is TL2460. Um, and it says it's got a four hour battery, uh, it's 1000 lumens four light patterns. It's got low, high SOS and a flashing amber. Um, it's got an AC charger and a 12 volt car charger. Uh, but I'll pull this out here and show it to you. I mean, this thing, it's, it's right on. And you know, if I had permission from this person, um, I can provide a link later on uh, to them. If you all are interested in purchasing one of these, um, you know, that, that way we can kind of help support each other. So I know that they're going to be watching this video and if you give me permission just go ahead and send me an email and then I'll bring it back out on another video and I'll give everyone the link. So if y'all are interested, you know, um, in ordering, maybe you order from them because like I said, we kind of help support each other. But this light, it is so cool. I mean, look, it's got uh, nine LED lights in there. It's also got a huge magnet where you can actually attach it to something and it won't fall off and I would assume you know, it would be the same thing like this and then it's got this cute handle that you can use to carry it with and then here's the portion back here where you charge it but uh, yeah I'm excited about using this thing and I think when I go on my hunting trip you know like I said uh, especially at night uh, doing the filming uh, I'll be able to recharge this in the truck and um, and be able to use it uh, to add some additional light for filming. Uh, so, again, thank you very much, very, very much for this nice light because I can think of many uses that I'm going to have for it. And even, you know, out walking around at nighttime. So, yeah, that's going to be really cool to use. So, thank you very much. And then here's the chargers. Here's the car charger, the AC charger, and then this little Allen wrench, which I assume would adjust, oh, it adjusts the handle on it. So, but anyway, I'm going to get the tools together and we're going to finish framing up those joists over there. 
and um, I took a tally while ago and figured up how much um, OSB that I'm going to need for the outside here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this bottom up uh, before because I don't have rain gutters yet and sometimes the water splashes back and what I'll do is I'll put the OSB on the outside and then I'm going to go on top of that with some tar paper and that should fix that. So anyway, sit back, stay tuned, hope you enjoy.
said it before, I'll say it again. That saw right there is worth its weight because I was having to deal with, um, you know, taking the cord and the generator and things like that. And this actually, this battery, um, I've only been taking it home every two days and charging it, and I still had uh, battery. I've been doing all this work right here. So, yeah, I'm really glad my son got me that. Anybody that poplar can get so hard that you can't hardly drive a nail through it. Um, even though it's considered a hardwood, it's softer than some of the others. But I don't know if it's just so dense. Um, but on some of these beams, it's been very hard to drive a nail without bending it. So um, I guess that old saying is true. It's easier if I put the bow to the inside, that way I can pull it out and then just try to push it and uh, screw it at the same time.
Well, hey everyone, um, this is the next day now, and we got lots of cloud cover, and it actually turned off a little bit on the chilly side, so I thought I would get me a fire going that I could actually move around with me. Um, of course, I have to let it die down a little bit, close that door, be able to pick it up and move it, but it is portable. Um, what I got in mind today, you can see I picked up eight pieces of this OSB, it's half inch. I'm going to put it around the bottom. My idea is that I will put it on the small knee wall that I built and then on the outside of this I've got a big roll of tar paper, roofing paper. I will attach that on the outside because I don't have gutters yet so sometimes the rain when it hits the ground it may splash back a little bit and I don't, once I get the plastic laid out I don't want the water pooling up in some of the shallow areas because it'd be, I just have to go down there and and dry it off so I'm thinking that if I go ahead and put this on close that bottom up the tar paper will keep this from getting wet and then my idea is when I get ready and I start putting the plywood down on the floor after I get the insulation in um, what I'm going to do is I'll get me some plastic I'm going to go to that upper beam and I will drape it all the way around the cabin and then that will keep the rain from coming in on the plywood and that will allow me opportunity to get in there, build my uh, exterior walls, then I can stand them up and get them put in place and I can just leave that plastic up until I get ready to put the siding on. And then what I can do is I can just uh, roll it back or cut it or whatever I decide to do um, once I get a wall up, put the siding on and just basically do that in sections. But what I wanted to show you was my son uh, remember I told you that I had some 2 by 10s that were had a little bit of a uh, slightly higher crown than some of the others that I was going to have to work down with my slick. Now if you don't know what a slick is, this is it. This is a timber framing tool and it's basically a plane. And you can use it uh, taking off material, uh, taking out the high spots and shaving it down. Well, he said, Dad, I'm going to get you a battery operated, which is a 9 amp hour 36 volt or 60 volt I'm sorry um, battery that just like the um, angle grinder that he got me okay holds the same battery right here okay Let me get this on there there we go um, so now I've got a planer that has an adjustment on it from, I don't know if you can see that or not, from 0 to 5 60 fourths, which is almost an eighth of an inch. So I can adjust, the, it's got a micro adjustment right here on how much I want to take off at a time. Um, you know, it doesn't just hog material, uh, but it will plane quite a bit at a time, and this is how it works right here. Anyway, so that came yesterday, um, and also I asked him to get me a disc, which is like this. It goes on the angle grinder right here, and that is for carving wood. It will dig out quite a bit, and you can use it to shape it. Um, they do make some that uh, is more of a buffing wheel, but that is to take out a lot of material at a time. Now, if I'd have had that on that compost toilet, um, I could have done uh, quite a bit of work with that, but I didn't have it at the time. So, when I seen one of those on display, I told him that I wanted one. So, when I go to putting the siding on and doing a lot of different things here on the cabin, I will have this to be able to shape the material because I intend on um, making this cabin a little on the Hobbit style too or, or medieval look using a lot of that slab wood and on the corners when I do my 45 because I want them to come together where it looks like it's one piece that's wrapping around the corner I'll be able to take this and pull them together uh, to where they look like they're made like one and then I can take uh, something that buffs uh, a little bit finer and get down to where hopefully uh, the seam you won't notice it. 
But anyway, he got me this, which I'm really excited about. And uh, so that's going to really come in handy. Um, it's not really a tool review because I haven't used it yet, but I can tell you that it's very beefy and um, this you can take off, but I just went ahead and put it on there so that I could go along the, the edge of the 2x10. And of course, you know, you can mount a um, dust, uh, I don't know what you call it, trap or bag right here, uh, but I probably won't. Um, but now I have the three big flex bolt batteries that I have two pieces of machinery that are two pieces of equipment that will use those. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, it holds spare bad or spare blades right here. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about using that. So I'm not going to get to that today. What I'm going to try to do is is close that bottom up. But um, yeah, he just never ceases to amaze me. The uh, the tools and the ideas that he can come up with to help me out here at the outpost. So. Oh yeah, by the way, I almost forgot the light that I showed you that came from a subscriber. Uh, they messaged me yesterday and they did give me permission to um, give out their business name, which is Precision Machinery. You can find them in Eugene, Oregon. So if you all are interested in one of those lights like I showed you, I've got it at home charging. Um, and when I turned it on in the bathroom, it's very, very, very bright. Uh, but it would be, you know, a cool little thing to have to, uh, you know, just walk around outside with kind of like a flashlight. Uh, if you're working on something, like, like I said, it had a magnet, you can stick it on the side. The handle's adjustable. It's got the um, electric uh, charger. It's got the 12 volt charger like to put in your car. But yeah, you can check them out, Precision Machinery in Eugene, Oregon. And um, Brent uh, is the man that you want to talk to. So Brent, I appreciate that very much. And I hope that uh, this might bring you some business because that little light, it's, it's very cool. I, very, I like it very much.
Well, hey guys, that's about all I've got time for today. By the time I pick up my tools and get ready to go, it's going to be the sun will probably be down over that ridge. But I did manage to get uh, the front side all the way down, and I did manage to get the back side. Here, I'll show you. So I've got all the back side done too. These were primarily the ones that I was concerned with because when the rain came down, it splashed in. Um, I did get one piece on that other side going that way. Um, I'll probably jump on those tomorrow and see if I can't knock those out. And then I need to frame for my opening on each side, uh, the long sides, uh, towards the front. I'll probably do that tomorrow too. That way I can go ahead and get all of this uh, covered so that uh, the rain doesn't bounce in off the ground when it rains real hard. And then um, I will get all that plastic laid out. Um, probably what I will go ahead and do too, I was thinking, to be able to create like a tent effect, I may get some plastic and go all the way around on that upper beam and just let it hang. And I will be able to uh, keep all the rain out, like I was saying earlier, um, because once I put the insulation down in the plywood, I don't want it getting wet. So um, I think that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I should be able to keep it dry until I can get the uh, walls built and get those stood up and begin to put the siding on. But there's, you know, there's many different ways I could have done this little wall. Um, but I think that the way that I'm going to do it um, and cover it with black paper, I think that's going to be sufficient. You know, there's many ways that I could have done this uh, little wall, but I think that the way that I'm going to be doing it is sufficient um, because it is going to get mortar and rock that's going to cover that. And um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to hurt anything. And then the black paper will keep any moisture that may come through uh, the mortar and the rock. It'll keep it away from this board. And then on the inside, when I get the venting in there, it should keep that dry. So yeah, it's coming along real well. And uh, I should be able to get that um, all wrapped around there tomorrow. So let's go back to the front. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pick up everything and uh, head out. I do appreciate you all stopping by and hanging out with me while I'm doing the work up here at the outpost. Again, we appreciate all of your support. Um, I am excited about that new DeWalt planer. Um, I will demonstrate it uh, here pretty soon uh, when I get ready to start on the floor. But um, this, you know, I'm needing to get this done to keep the water out from the inside because I may be laying on my back quite a bit putting that insulation in there and I don't want to get wet. So that was, this kind of took a priority. But uh, anyway, like I said, guys, appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for all your support. Hope everyone has a great afternoon. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the Outpost next time. Everyone take care.